I'm Colonel Corey Lusk. I'm the 5th commander of the 37th IBCT, but I'm the 29th commander within the lineage of the 37th. Being a commander of the 37th IBCT has been one of the greatest honors in my life. One of the reasons it's been one of the greatest honors is because of the rich lineage and history of the 37th. During World War I, after America declared war on Germany, the entire National Guard was drafted into federal service and it was on July 18, 1917 at Camp Sheridan, Alabama, where the 37th was born. That means that the next summer, the 37th will celebrate its 100th anniversary. But there are units within the brigade whose heritage goes back even further. The 237th Brigade Support Battalion was created on July 18, 1881. The 125th Infantry Regiment on December 24, 1857. The 148th Infantry Regiment on June 23, 1846, and the oldest unit in the brigade, the 134th Field Artillery Regiment, was created on July 6, 1839. However, our newest unit, the 37th Special Troops Battalion, organized only nine years ago on 1 September 2007. During World War I, the 148th served in France and Belgium. After that war, the German Army's leadership said the Buckeye Division was one of the best American divisions the Germans ever faced. During World War II, the 37th Division wrote one of its greatest chapters. The 37th was called into federal service on October 15, 1940, for an enlistment that was meant to only be for one year. But because of the needs of the Army, the 37th was activated for the entire war. In 1943, the 37th arrived in the Pacific Theater. Over the next two years, from Fiji to Manila, the 37th spent 592 days in combat. Commanding the 37th throughout World War II was Major General Robert Beetler. He was the only division commander in the National Guard to retain his command from the entrance of the war to its final conclusion. In 1945, Yank Magazine wrote about the 37th. Seeing the 37th move towards a new front was like seeing Joe Lewis step into the ring after the preliminaries. The 37th has eight Medal of Honor recipients. From World War I, 2nd Lieutenant Albert Basil. From World War II, PFC Frank Patricia, PFC John Reese, 2nd Lieutenant Robert Vialli, Sergeant Clito Rodriguez, PFC Joseph Cicchetti, and PFC Anthony Krotak. The 8th Medal of Honor winner is the most famous, Private Roger Young. On July 31, 1943, Private Young's platoon was pinned down by a Japanese machine gun. As night set in, Young, able to see the machine gunner, decided to go after him. As he snuck up the hill, Young was shot in the shoulder and the chest. Finally, only 10 yards away and his rifle destroyed, Private Young threw a grenade into the pit, killing the machine gunner. But as he threw the grenade, Private Young was shot in the head and killed. In honor of Private Young, the composer Frank Loso wrote The Ballad of Roger Young, which is now the official song of the United States Infantry. With the lyrics of this song, the 37th found its motto, No Time for Glory. Other periods of federal service for the 37th have been in Korea from 1952 to 1954, Kosovo in 2005, Kuwait and Iraq in 2008 and 2009, and Afghanistan in 2011-2012. The 37th has also served in several domestic natural disasters like the Ohio blizzard in 1978 and Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The 37th has had several major reorganizations. In 1968, 1977, 1992, 1993, 1994, and most recently in 2007 when it redesignated as the 37th Infantry Brigade Combat Team. And it is this team that is now preparing for the next chapter in the 37th storied history as we once again head to Kosovo to serve in NATO's ongoing peacekeeping mission in that region. Soldiers of the 37th BCT are extremely proud of our heritage. Members wearing the Buckeye patch have fought in the jungles of the Philippines, the trenches of France, and the deserts of the Middle East. Now our brigade is preparing for peacekeeping operations in Kosovo. But as we go forward, nobody in the Buckeye Brigade is looking for accolades or glory. For our motto is, no time for glory. Oh, they've got no time for glory in the infantry. Oh, they've got no use for praises loudly sung. But in every soldier's heart, in all the infantry, 
Shines the name, shines the name of Roger Young. Shines the name, Roger Young. Fought and died for the men he marched among. To the everlasting glory of the infantry lives the story of Private Roger Young. Caught in ambush lay a company of riflemen, just grenades against machine guns in the gloom. Caught in ambush till this one of twenty riflemen volunteered, volunteered to meet his...